yes uh, the topic is now uh, frequency that uh, frequency ma fm discriminate discriminator so that's a topic so fm discriminator or fm demodulation uh, there are uh, both are similarly same name uh, there are two types uh, one is uh, frequency discrimination method another one is uh, phase discrimination method so frequency discrimination method uh, uh, it has shown the diagram a fm wave and discriminator uh, differentiator and envelope detector and demodulated output so these are the um, uh, components are present in frequency discriminator so the bla black diagram in that uh, Mm, that uh, you know if you, you are applying fm wave so what is discriminator or demodulator so discriminator or demodulator is nothing but the opposite of ma modulation you know modulation it will be combined of carrier and message signal but uh, discriminator or demodulator it's a uh, it is in a receiver side it will be uh, it received the uh, signal from transmitter and it will be separate uh, carrier and message signal and finally uh, we, we get that original signal so that's a demodulated output is original signal uh, so we are sending um, original signal from transmitter then that will be converted as a modulated signal and receiver will be receive the uh, signal and demodulating or discriminating uh, finally the output we got is that is called as demodulated output so that demodulated output uh, there is another one we can say as uh, original signal um, so the uh, so the black diagram the frequency uh, that differentiator uh, envelope detector that is we already know so uh, the differentiator it will be differentiate uh, that uh, you know the there are two signals already we know the carrier signals also combined with the fm wave so that uh, will be differentiate the signal and finally envelope detector we already seen from envelope detector from first unit first unit we saw the envelope detector that's a structure contain uh, uh, diode capacitors so the diode it is uh, on and off based on the carrier uh, uh, carrier waveform uh, if the carrier frequency is diode getting on the carrier frequency that means it's a forward bias diode getting on if the carrier frequency is uh, an, uh, uh, opposite side then the diode getting off that means reverse bias uh, then when the diode is uh, on the capacitor is getting charged when the diode is off the capacitor is getting discharged okay so the frequency variation of fm wave uh, so the envelope detector will be uh, detect the envelope of the modulated signal so differentiator it will be differentiate the carrier signal and then sa signal then envelope detector it will be detect the envelope of the signal and then we can uh, find that original signal based on the original signal we can get it demodulated output signal that is called as message signal so this is the equation of fm wave uh, s of t is equal to ac cos 2 pi fct plus 2 pi kf so integral of m of t dt so uh, this is already we know uh, frequency modulation equation uh, we saw uh, previous videos so uh, we have to differentiate you know because we are using differentiator so we have to differentiate uh, from equation with respect to t uh, so if you're going to differentiate the equation ds of t divided by dt minus ac 2 pi f uh, plus 2 pi k f m of t and psi uh, 2 pi f c t plus 2 pi kf integral of m of t dt so if uh, the if you apply the differentiation so we can uh, write uh, you know that is sine minus sine theta as we can write as a sine theta uh, uh, sine theta minus 180 degree so ds uh, of theta uh, divided by dt 
so it equal to ac ac of 2 pi fc plus 2 pi kf m of t so sin 2 pi fc t 2 pi kf integral m of t dt minus 180 degree because we already know uh, you know the see the equation uh, so we can write like that minus sin theta as here sin theta minus 180 degree so uh, see this sin theta you just consider as this equation is a theta so that's why they written as here theta minus 180 degree minus sin theta you know that minus sin theta they can consider as here uh, sin theta minus 180 degree that's why they written like that so 180 degree came here so ds of t dt is equal to ac cos 2 by fc 1 plus uh, that means we are uh, our, uh, took it from outside that take the, take the uh, this form from the equation if we take it from outside then uh, you know the uh, 1 plus kf k divided by kc m of t uh, and then sin of 2 pi f c t 2 pi k f integral of m of d d t minus 180 degree. So, uh, above equation uh, that uh, amplitude term resemble, you know, that amplitude term resemble uh, the envelope of a m wave. Okay, then angle term uh, resemble the angle of f m wave. So, our requirement is the modulating signal m of t. So see that. So that is the amplitude term resemble envelope of AM wave. Then angle term resemble angle of FM wave. Okay. So that amplitude term and angle term. So this amplitude term resemble AM wave and amplitude term angle term resemble uh, FM wave. So, if you want that uh, original signal, the original signal we can get it from your AM wave. So, that signal we are we already we have the amplitude term here. So, from that we can use envelope detector. So, that envelope detector uh, we detect the uh, original AM wave output uh, that uh, you know uh, that will be detected and you will be get the original signal. So, this is an equation and then um, phase discrimination method so phase discrimination method uh, here we have the diagram fm wave then multiplier uh, low pass filter and uh, voltage control oscillator and demodulated output so these are uh, say phase discrimination method so fm wave s of t uh, that is given to the input uh, then multiplier uh, p of t v of t uh, so, so if you apply uh, FM wave S of T, uh, <coughs> uh, F of FM of T uh, phase discrimination method. Um, yeah, uh, we we will see in uh, next video in phase discrimination method. We will complete that uh, previous one. So, S of T AC cos 2 pi F C T 2 pi K F integral M of T DT. So, if you differentiate the equation with respect to T, DS of T DT AC uh, 2 pi F C 2 pi K F M of T sin and 2 pi F C T uh, 2 pi K F integral M of T DT. Okay. Um, then uh, the equation we can write as minus sin theta sin theta minus 180 degree DS of T DT. So we can write the equation and finally we got the equation that equation have the two term the one term we say amplitude term another one is angle term so that amplitude term resembles uh, envelope of am wave then angle term resembles an uh, angle of fm wave so based on that amplitude term we can uh, use envelope detector that envelope detector uh, will be uh, detect the uh, output uh, layout of that am wave and finally we can uh, produce that uh, message signal from that uh, we can amplify the message signal and finally we got the output okay okay uh, then thank you